Hi everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for everybody for November 11th to the 17th. First, we'll go ahead and start with Pisces. Pisces, archetype card for you for the week. Oh, you get two. The heart and the warrior. Okay, so you're feeling like really strong right now when it comes to your ability to take care of your heart, right? You are feeling very tenacious. You're just like, I can get through anything right now. Okay, so you're feeling really strong, really capable, really sturdy, okay? Let's go ahead and pull five cards for the general energies that you'll experience. Four of Swords, the Chariot in Reverse, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, Temperance in Reverse, and the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, because right now you're like, I have to take care of myself because I do don't want to experience any more heartache, right? You're like, I just, I'm doing me, making my own money, making my own way, taking care of myself, right? I'm not going to rely on other people to make me feel a particular kind of way. There's an essence of you slowing down, okay? There's an essence of you slowing down um, because if you move too quickly, then you might say something that you can't take back right? So the four of swords here is an essence of you calming down, okay? Like this is like taking a pause before we say something, right? Taking a pause before we say something and not doing anything until we're certain that it's the right move, right? So, oh, should I say that? No, I probably shouldn't say that. I'm gonna just, you know, yeah, and, and taking care of our heart can be a lot, right? So right now, there is a little bit of an essence of of some short-temperedness, right? There's, there's a propensity here for you with that Queen of Swords in reverse to be a little bit sharp with your words. So please be mindful of that, especially when it comes to like any kind of imbalance in your life with that temperance in reverse. We can be feeling like some things are a little bit off this week and we're, we have to be strategic, but we're like, I don't want to have to like plan everything out all of the time. This could be you not wanting to be the one that's like, why do I have to be the one that plans all of the outings? Why do I have to be the one that's planning all of the vacations? Why is it always me that's kind of planning everything? Why can't somebody else kind of like pitch in here, right? Just... Take care of your heart this week, right? We're going to go back to that heart card, okay? This week, you know, you're, you're, there is a little bit of an imbalance here, but just probably the best thing that you're going to do a couple times this week is just say, take a breath before I say anything. How do I actually feel, right? And let's go ahead and pull three cards for advice. cards for advice are eight of pentacles the wheel of fortune and eight of wands yeah just like don't stress yourself out right give yourself the space to kind of process what you need focus on work this week okay that with that queen of pentacles there that we saw before with this wheel of fortune you're moving quickly towards success don't let anything disrupt that right this can be like you saying something that kind of disrupts a relationship with someone that you're trying to build right this could be a lot of different things, but focus on work right now, okay? Just like put the work in. Focus on work, no drama. Focus on what you're trying to create in your life and focus on continuing that momentum towards getting all of the things that you want to get right now, okay? An energy that we want you to embody more of is protection. Yeah, you're fine. Like just make sure that you 
know that you're safe. Don't feel like you have to like, can I trust people? Are people sneaky around me? With that seven of swords in reverse, that can also be us being like, can I actually trust these people? Don't worry too much about that right now. Just focus on your work, okay? All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and pull an archetype card for you to start. We have the prayer. So if you've been feeling like you've been a little bit boxed in, like you're kind of stuck in a way, like feeling like a caged animal almost, like trapped, there's something coming through here this week that's gonna like answer your prayers. You're gonna feel like you're, you're I'm just feeling a very light energy coming through here. Like, oh wow, this actually worked out. This feels so great. Okay, so it's just like your prayers have been answered in a way that you're looking for this week, okay? That's really nice. If you haven't been praying, ensure that you pray. Three cards for Aquarius. Or five cards, excuse me. Seven of Pentacles, seven of wands in reverse, the nine of swords in reverse, the four of pentacles in reverse, and the six of wands in reverse. Future planning is leading to abundance and the lovers here, okay? You might have someone coming through here for you, Aquarius, okay? You might have, I don't think I've picked up on love for you for a little while in a positive. Your efforts are paying off. Your positive energy coming in here for you this week for love okay good this is very good you're seeing the you are collecting knowledge okay with the seven of pentacles here right you're collecting knowledge it's fall you might have an interest in sitting outside underneath a tree or something and like having a cute little picnic right but there's definitely an energy of collecting our right so acorns are small but they turn into big things so full body goosebumps big energies coming in here um you're collecting a basket of a plethora of knowledge, right? You're collecting all of these small little seeds that are going to eventually grow into a very large tree. But right now, you're needing to kind of sit back and collect. You're not in the observance of the final product right now. You're in the stage where you are still collecting, okay? With the seven of wands in reverse, there and this nine of swords in reverse, two very beautiful energies here saying that you're able to kind of let your guard down and you're finally feeling free of this like sleepless nights, anxiety, stress. You're like, I'm finally able to let go right? I'm finally able to let go with that four of pentacles in reverse. You're like, I can't hold on any longer, right? I can't hold on any longer. I have to, to kind of release this, release the stress, release the burden that it's placed on me. And even if that feels like I'm giving up and it's like a failure in a certain respect, you know, that it's the right thing to do, right? You're like, I have to, I have to move on, right? I have to move on. I have to continue with my life. And yeah, I know that good things, like for my mental health, I have to let this go, right? Three cards. 
for Aquarius for the advice. The Moon, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Yes. Feel it. Then let it go and welcome to this new passionate energy, right? The moon is very deep, very emotional, very elusive, illusory. It's almost like feeling like this is all kind of this crazy dream. And once we acknowledge that and really sit in the depth of our emotions, then we can be freed, right? And the Knight of Wands is very free. The Knight of Wands is very free. They have all of their resources within them and they're ready, right? So Ace of Wands is pursuing new passions, right? So especially Knight of Wands can be like a sexy card, especially next to the Ace of Wands. You could have your eye on somebody, right? Um, I don't condone one night stands, but you know, um, there's an essence here of like having a crush and moving forward and having great energy. This can be like a fun date or like, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, okay. What is an energy that we want Aquarius to embody more of is inner peace. Yeah. Kind of getting to this place where a lot of these cards are insinuating this calm inner peace. Okay. This is really nice. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and pull an archetype card for you. way okay two cards <clears throat> the threshold and the destroyer i feel like you're hitting this edge of something you're almost on the edge of a breakthrough okay you're not there yet but you're taking steps right now that are going to bring you towards this breakthrough. You are so close right now to a breakthrough, okay? The advice here is to keep going. We're gonna get more advice, obviously, but whatever you're doing, it's working. You're breaking through some sort of mold that you've been in for a little while. Keep up the good work, okay? Keep up the good work big change with that death card there one two three four five planning yes planning is bringing you the success that you need you might be feeling more connected to your partner you might be feeling just happier and lighter in general. There is an essence of slowing the momentum down here, right? You have kind of put in a lot of this work right now that at this point you have to just kind of, okay, take a step. Now we're just kind of watching what's going right now. You're not worried about the future so much right now. You're focusing a lot on the present and kind of staying in the present moment energy. Four of Swords is like mental calm, like finally being able to relax and be at ease, okay? With this King of Wands in reverse, with the Hierophant in reverse, and the Knight of, of Wands here, you might be feeling good, but a partner might be feeling a little off, okay? The Hierophant in reverse um, is some frustration. So just be mindful about any masculine energies that are here. This could be a partner for sure. If you're the masculine, this could be you. But some sort of masculine is feeling out of 
they're they're angry to be honest there's some anger here there is some annoyance and but there is that energy of like planning and feeling light but you're like you can't control how other people feel you just can't so if someone around you is feeling irritated frustrated angry okay you don't let that bother you right don't you i mean you can't let that bother you you have to stay in your own energy right now because you're really on the precipice of this breakthrough right don't let anybody else kind of rain on your parade this week right we're not gonna be cool with that no 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 you've been working very hard yeah you've been working very hard on something that's going to give to other people and you're really hoping that you're not going to be disappointed your advice is the star in reverse the ace of swords in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse it's okay if if you don't don't worry about getting recognition right away don't worry about everything being clear and don't feel like you have to leave where you're at, okay? This is not one of those weeks where you should be seeking outside validation by any means and like you're almost to that precipice like I was telling you, right? You're almost there, but you're not just yet, but you're on your way. Don't look for any crazy answers right now. Don't look for all of this success immediately and all of these fans to come at like, it's coming, it's coming. Um, just kind of like stay put, stay where you are, okay? Flexibility, yeah, being flexible, um, uh, now that you've put things in motion, now be flexible and patient with how the results come about. Okay? Be patient. All right, Cappy. That's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and pull an archetype card for you. Eros. Okay. For some of you guys, you're going against your, your mother's better judgment and like having a fun time with someone that maybe she doesn't approve of very much, okay? But that's not for everybody. For some of you guys, I mean, this is fun, young, playful love, and that's an energy coming through here for you, right? This is feeling good, this is feeling flirty, this is feeling exciting, right? This is just like crush energy beginning romance stage right intimate times okay well, that's exciting sagittarius so five cards for sagittarius okay five of cups nine of wands in reverse queen of pentacles in reverse the moon and the King of Cups in reverse. There is definitely some sort of partnership here where it's so deep, but the feminine has no control over her life whatsoever. And you have no control over your emotions. Like your emotional availability is maybe not even there. Your emotions toward this situation, like it's deep, but you don't know how to feel about all of it. And the feminine, unless you are the feminine, right? If you're the feminine, you're like, I don't have enough money right now. My resources are off. This could be, if you're not in a room, I mean, I'm going with the arrows here. So we're going to say this is a partnership or like someone that you're interested in. 
depending on what sex you are, the feminine queen of pentacles in reverse, the resources are off. Resources are off. Being able to be um, self-containing is not present right now. And with the masculine, the emotions are all over the place. Kind of like we're pulling in, we're pulling out. Um, and we're not entirely sure where to place our emotions. And it's kind of like emotion control is a little bit all over the place. But with this moon card here, right? With that moon being in the middle of the two of you, that's deep, right? That's, that's super deep. That's very passionate energy. Um, there's a sense of watching and seeing where things go, right? And how things grow with the little small bud here turning into a larger flower. So you guys might just be taking it a little bit easy right now. There could be some disappointment from this connection already or a sense of like, oh, I'm just going to lose this person or it's not going to work out. But with that nine of wands in reverse, you're like, eh, I might be wounded, but I'm still going to kind of keep going. There's almost a sense of like, I don't really care. I'm going to keep going because it's deep and it's fun and I enjoy it, right? So let's go ahead and pull three cards for the advice. Three cards of advice, seven of cups, the queen of pentacles in reverse, and the ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, you can keep your options open. This is more like a dating kind of energy, right? Dating nothing serious, right? That queen of pentacles there is someone where you don't, don't worry about, like, if you can't, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody, right? You don't have to prove yourself to anybody, you can also receive, right? You don't, you can just like have a good time is what I'm hearing from all of these three cards. Just have fun. Just have fun. Don't take it too seriously. Keep your options open, right? Like let someone pay for you for dinner. Like let yourself receive a little bit here. Okay. And with that 10 of swords in reverse, just don't stress so much, right? Like don't, be your own worst critic like just keep it light is what i'm hearing keep it light power yeah no matter what at the end of the day you want to stay in your own power right stay in your own power feeling confident in ourselves feeling like we can flow with the energy that we're being presented with and we don't have to fight against the current okay that's what i have for you sag thanks hi scorpio Go ahead and pull a card for you is the desert okay so scorpio the desert can talk about us feeling alone right this is kind of like the five of pentacles energy where you're like i just need help i feel like i'm in quicksand right now right with that hand coming out i feel like i'm in some sort of quicksand and I need, I need help and I don't know how to ask for it. So yeah, we can feel a little bit alone. We can feel isolated. Maybe we, yeah, are just feeling deserted in some sort of way. Okay, let's go ahead and pull five cards for you. Five cards for Scorpio. Page of Cups in reverse, the Tower in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Justice in reverse. You're taking things very seriously, okay? There's an essence of, I'm serious, right? Like, I'm serious. I want to feel clear here. I want the truth. I want to know what's going on. I just, I, you want 
to cut through the BS is what I'm hearing this week, Scorpio. I don't want any problems, right? There's a sense of feeling like you can't be super mushy, emotional, you're feeling vulnerable, things feel like they're falling apart a little bit, even though they're not. You're just like, I want to get out ahead. I want my stress and and feelings of things not being right to go away. Uh, feelings of things not feeling right with that justice in reverse there, you're just like, things are feeling maybe a little bit off and you're really trying super hard to get out of your head, right? You're just like, stay out of my head, stay out of my head, stay out of my head. Um, feeling like we're not in control, right? Feeling like we're not in control. There's this vulnerability there for sure. And that's where that um, desert card comes into play, right? Where we kind of feel like, yeah, we're like alone in this energy and we just, we just, we so badly want to know what the truth is and what, what's real and, and like weeding through anything that's making us feel stuck or trapped in some way, right? I just want things to feel right. I want clarity. I want peace of mind and I want clarity. Three cards for the advice. The star in reverse, the six of swords, and the page of pentacles. Oof. Yikes. If you are feeling, oof, Scorpio, if you're feeling super defeated, right? If you're feeling defeated in between a rock and a hard place not sure which way to go it's okay to accept defeat right it's okay to accept defeat it's okay Yeah, there is an essence further down the line of, of feeling like we have no choice regarding something, okay? The advice here is to not worry about attention, okay? Stop focusing so much on attention and how things are coming off from the outside, right? We're moving to calmer shores here. And a way for you to move to calmer shores is to stop giving so much of yourself, right? Don't give, like wait for something to come to you. Wait for something to come to you. If you're feeling off, then put up a boundary, right? And those that can feel the boundary will then come say, hey, everything okay? What's happening? I'll, I'll come to you, right? So don't spread yourself too thin, okay? There is definitely love here, right? There's some sort of like portal coming through here an opportunity and some sort of gateway coming in this week that's going to make you feel like you're able to unlock something right and that opportunity i believe is you kind of like pulling back a little bit and then seeing how people actually come to you right people come to you instead of you feeling like you have to um yeah, like a blockage is going to be opened here this week, okay? Some sort of opportunity for you to to move um, in a, a good direction. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Libra. The 
thread in reverse. Feeling like we can't pull ourselves out of something. You might be going through it a little bit this week, Libra. What can't you pull yourself out of? You're like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Five cards. Yeah, you're, this is like burnout energy. You're like, I just. Five cards. The nine of pentacles in reverse. The empress in reverse. The star in reverse. Queen of wands in reverse. And the lovers in reverse. What is happening? Okay. Things around you might be making you feel a little crazy this week, okay? The outside energy is affecting you, but what's happening on the inside is actually very good. We have the Ace of Wands here, right? Ace of Wands, and then we have the Temperance card. You're doing better than you think that you are, okay? You are doing better than you think that you are, okay? You're going through it this week, okay? Don't let your outside circumstances control how you feel because there's definitely an energy of... There's a lot of feminine energy here too, right? So your mom's energy could be here, a sister, a family member, this could be coworkers, friends, what have you. There's a sense of like you are doing well and that could be triggering some people, okay? There could be a feminine around you, two feminines that feel a little bit envious of what you're experiencing. You feel like you're going through it you look great from the outside, right? You look great from the outside. Um, your partner might not be happy with how you've been behaving. The lovers in reverse with the queen of wands, there could be a very jealous feminine around you, right? You could be feeling like, I'm not getting the attention that I want right now. I'm not getting the success that I want right now. I'm feeling like I'm not, like I don't have a good reputation right now like why do I not feel good right now nine of pentacles in reverse like I'm not experiencing the independence that I want to feel I'm feeling like I'm having to be reliant on a lot of other people right now and I don't want to have to do that there's something about this all being a little bit of a facade and that you're being really hard on yourself okay and right, because it's like, you don't think that you can pull yourself out of this, but you can. You're tired. I'm picking up like burnout energy, okay? Three cards for advice. The star in reverse again, the six of swords and the page of pentacles. I said the same things to Scorpio. So pull back a little bit, right? If you're giving too much, pull back a little bit. Take a little trip if you can. Go get out in nature. Go see a waterfall. Don't give your energy to too many people right now. Pull back and see what happens. You'll probably feel a lot better. And don't pay any mind to how anybody else is perceiving you. That's none of their business. It's really not. And if they're super close to you, They'll figure it out. Otherwise, none yeah, right? An energy that we want Libra to embody more of. Solitude, yeah, like being on our own, right? Stillness, take it easy. Go sit by a waterfall, relax, look out the window, bring in some peace here because you've got a lot of moving parts outside of you that are kind of stirring some things up, right? 
be calm, be graceful, grace. Slow down in our movements, be in control of our body, right? Softness, just be soft. Okay, that's what I have for you, Libra, thanks. Hi, Virgo. Architect card for Virgo. The lovers. Okay. So the lovers with that Ace of Wands can be like new passionate energy regarding the partnership that you're in right now, right? So we could be feeling really good about our partner. We could be feeling like a sense of renewed connection. If you're not in a partnership, you could be feeling a lot of romance right now and you could be feeling like you want to attract somebody, right? This is calm, graceful, feminine energy, okay? Five cards for Virgo. Trust your intuition regarding any kind of like bad energy, okay? What is going on with you with love right now? You don't want any fighting. You just want forward movement. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to have anxiety. I don't want to be like mentally agitated. I just want things to work. I just want to, I just want it to work. I just want everything to work. You're feeling like you have to get out of, you go out of your comfort zone this week, Virgo, right? We're out of our comfort zone here. We are, it's three of cups and the two of cups in reverse with the king of cups in reverse with the six of wands here. A masculine here is feeling completely incapable of handling their emotions. Two of cups in reverse is literally the union not feeling like it's present and three of cups can be third party energy. So there might be a masculine who's feeling that there's third party energy. They're feeling like, like not included and not in union with you not in union but there's an essence of success here six of wands at the end of the day all is going to be okay all is going to be okay because we have that lover's card there right with the six of wands here at the end of the day even if this king is feeling like they can't handle their emotions it's all going to be okay i'm just hearing everything's going to be fine everything's going to be fine okay Three cards for the advice. The masculine's going to get back in there. This might be hard for you to do. Three cards for advice. I'm hearing slow down. Six of pentacles in reverse. The king of pentacles in reverse. And the queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay. This is a partnership here. This is a partnership where both of you have to not spread yourself too thin okay you both are trying to find a balance between give and take receiving and giving balance because you're both mm, not in your power right now okay be easy with each other, okay? Be gentle with each other. You're both going through a lot right now, okay? It's a little bit of a tough week for you and your partnership, okay? Just take it easy. Give what you can and leave it there. You're both going to be relying on each other a lot this week, okay? A card we want Virgo to embody more of this week. Wonders and fulfillment. You're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot better. Like a fresh 
energies coming through here, okay? You'll feel better. You're gonna feel like, I'm hearing like you're gonna feel wonderful by the time the week is over with that six of wands there. You're gonna be like, oh God, I feel so much better, okay? That's what I have for you, Virgo. Thanks. Hi, Leo. Let's go ahead and pull an archetype card for you. So serious this week. We're so serious. The prayer. Hmm. You're feeling like your prayer has not been answered for some reason. You're feeling like, can God even hear me? Can God hear me? I don't feel like I'm being listened to. I don't feel like I'm getting the results that I want to get. Five cards for Leo. Six of Wands in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Star, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Fire. Just like keep going. You might not be having all of the success that you want right now, and it's making you feel like you, you're doing better than you think you are, okay? You really are. Even if like you're not having all of the success this week that you would have expected to have, you actually have a lot of support around you, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse, you actually do have a lot of support around you. If you needed anything from anybody, you'd call and ask and they'd be there for you. So just remember that even if we're feeling like sad or left out for some reason are you actually really or is that something that you're just kind of projecting out into the world because you look good you look like you have a lot going on with the star and the six of pentacles there but people see you as someone who has a lot to offer okay they see you as someone who has a lot to offer they see you as someone who is um very much open, um, available, um, approachable, right? But you do have some things coming through this week where you're just like, oh, that's the last thing that I need right now. Really? Like, <laughs> that's the last thing that I need right now, as I'm hearing, okay? So let's look at some advice for you. What's the advice? Three cards of advice. Leo. The High Priestess in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. It's all about balance. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, right? You might not know everything that's happening right now, or why did this happen? Like, you can't don't try to figure it out, okay? Just keep the energy going and keep keep budgeting, keep an energy of balance. You're juggling a lot of things right now. Just keep it going. That's what I'm hearing. Just keep it going. Keep the energy going, right? You don't have to figure everything out this week, okay? Just keep it going. And the energy we want Leo to embody more of. There is some sort of change coming through. Yeah, but the change is going to be for your benefit, right? It might not feel so good in the initial uh, hearing of the news, um, but it's change for the better. It's actually going to cleanse and purify anything that's kind of been dragging you down a little bit, okay? And there you are, of course, Leo with the sun. <laughs> All right, Leo. Thanks. Bye.
Hi, Cancer. Working on our body, I see. The seed in reverse. You're like, what am I gonna see? We're feeling like we're not seeing the results yet, right? Especially if you've been like putting work into your body or working out more, you're like, I'm not seeing the results yet, but that takes time, right? The little small pearl, all of these little lines, right? It takes time over and 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 over. You can't just have it like, you have your idea about what you want, but then you have to watch it grow and watch it happen. Five cards for Cancer. Trying to get out of our head because something's not moving. Something's not moving. If we're a little stressed. We're a little stressed, but we're like trying to make it work. We're stressed, money could be on the mind, there could be some penny pinching energy. Trying to keep the budget tight here, right? Trying to hold on to what we have going on. There is an essence of working through an energy of, of pain, right? Pain in the heart space overcoming heartache at a very surface level for this card three of swords in reverse you're just trying to like keep it all together right ten of cups in reverse with the king of pentacles you're just trying to like be a boss like be the boss of your life right now because there could be like partnership energy with that three of swords in reverse with the ten of cups in reverse this can be like you know getting over heartache regarding a marriage that didn't work out or a partnership that didn't work out or just some frustration in the home front right but we're keeping it together we're keep amidst the stress coming through this week you're keeping it together okay definitely some periods of some slight tension coming in here right Three cards for advice, but you're doing a great job keeping it all together. You really are. Just keep going, right? Keep going. Ten of Swords in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, <sighs> accept help from people if they want to help you, right? You don't have to have everything exactly where it needs to be right now. Don't be so hard on yourself here, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself here. If you don't have a partner, someone is thinking about you as well, right? They miss you. They would love to be with you, right? They know it didn't work out for a particular reason, but they still love you. And if this is you and your partner, be gentle with each other this week, right? Be gentle with each other, okay? Release the stress, right? Don't stress too hard this week. An energy for cancer is stillness. Just take it easy. Take it easy this week, okay? There's some things that are going to come in there kind of kind of like stress you out a little bit. And a good way to work with that is to just relax. Take some time to relax, okay? That's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Gemini. Let's go ahead and pull 
an archetype card for you. Two cards. All emotions regarding a kiss here. Hmm. You're reminiscing about a kiss. You're wanting to kiss somebody. You're feeling some kind of things for someone. You could have a crush on somebody. You want to be with someone. There's an energy of like romance and longing and sadness and a ton of emotion. Okay. If it's not sadness, it's like an overwhelming emotion of like wanting to kiss somebody or like just clearly, right? We have the kiss here. Okay. It's like, you have all these big feelings or you're wanting all of these big feelings. It's like Ace of Cups with like the lovers, you know? Someone makes you feel weak in the knees. Someone make you feel... Ten of Swords in reverse, the Star, the Nine of Cups, Death, and the Magician. Very interesting energy here. Feeling like in like an open book here. Feeling free in some respect. You're like, I feel crazy right now. Why am I feeling this way? You're like, why am I feeling this way? I feel crazy. In a good way, right? You're like, oh my God, like, how did this even, how did I even start to feel like this? Nine of cups with the death? You're just like, I feel amazing. And nothing's even happened. And nothing's even happened. I feel amazing. I feel amazing. It's like this this crazy shift like this crazy like it's just like all of a sudden it's just this this complete transformation right complete transformation and all of a sudden we're just like feel great feel, feel like a million bucks i'm hearing you say i feel like a million bucks did somebody kiss you this week gemini did you kiss somebody three cards the magician in reverse again Either someone's coming in or your Ten of Swords in reverse again, the Four of Pentacles. You're like, I can't hold back anymore. I'm freeing myself of this. I can't hold back anymore. I'm going to say something, right? You're just like, I'm going to say something. I have to say something. I feel amazing. I'm, I'm doing it. I, <laughs> I feel amazing. <laughs> I love this energy for you, Gem. This is great. An energy we want you to embody more of this week is going forward. You're like, I'm doing it. Going forward, I'm doing it. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> All right, Gem, that's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Taurus. Let's go ahead and pull an archetype card for you. Karos. Ooh, divine timing. Mm, divine timing is at work here. You have to trust the process. You have to trust what's happening. Everything that's happening now is happening for a reason, okay? It's happening for a reason. Tuning into the color blue will help you feel better. I don't know if you use blue at all, but sky blue will help. Relax. Everything's happening for a reason, okay? You have to trust. Five cards for Taurus. Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords in Reverse, the Star, Death, and the Eight of Wands. 
feeling better. We're like getting our verve back. We're like, yeah, I just like feeling like we can let go a little bit, right? Feeling like we can let go. There's definitely a sense of feeling good, feeling like I'm not letting certain things get to me right now. I'm just kind of sitting in my happiness, right? You can have Gemini in your chart. You could be connecting with a Gemini. There's an essence of like forward momentum without pressure. And you're like reaping the rewards of the hard work that you've been part putting in. And you're reaping the rewards of being patient and understanding that everything happens for a reason and happens exactly how it's supposed to happen, right? I'm just feeling a sense of freedom, contentment, fulfillment, like your cup runneth over this week, right? And there is this sense of something happening towards the end of the week where it's like something's catching on here, something's catching flame here right so something's coming through that's gonna make you feel like like a rush of good energy okay feel it feeling content three cards for advice for taurus three cards of advice for taurus the knight of wands the ace of wands and the six of wands okay Lots of fire energy coming through here. Lots of fire. So <sighs> go where you feel fueled, okay? Go where you feel fueled. And there again, with this rushing sense, I feel like you're going to have success here and a lot of like strong, sexual, passionate, energy here okay like like you're allowed to feel extremely passionate by this situation an energy we want Taurus to embody more of is openness be open to understanding that it might not be working exactly how you thought it was going to, but it is working, okay? It is working, okay? That's what I have for you. Thanks. Hi, Aries. Go ahead and pull a card for Aries. The vessel in reverse. Not feeling so good about our body this week. Feeling this can be like body dysmorphia. This could be feeling like out of our comfort zone, not comfortable in our body, feeling overweight, feeling like, yeah, just like we're not feeling something inside is not feeling good. Something inside doesn't feel good. Something doesn't feel right in our body. Not feeling beautiful, feeling alone. Six of pentacles, the 10 of fire, the nine of fire, the moon in reverse, and the two of pentacles. There could be a sense of jealousy in your relationship, a sense of anger, frustration, not wanting to fight. You're being very giving, even if it's hard, even if you feel like you don't have enough strength to do that. You're just like, I'm having to push through and not let myself drown in these heavy emotions. I'm just, I'm hearing you say, I'm just trying to keep it all together. I'm just trying to keep it all together. I need to keep it all together. Even if I'm wounded, even if it hurts, I have no other choice. I have to keep going. I have to keep it together. Three cards of advice 
for Aries. Three of Cups, Death in Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, have fun with your friends, Aries, okay? Have fun with your friends. Don't, like, spiral out here. Just focus on what you have going for you and focus on, like, new energy, new partnerships, new projects, right? Fresh, just keep your sights set on the fact that, like, this energy is going to pass. It's not going to... Be, be here forever right like don't worry you're gonna be fine hang out with your friends they'll get you to feel better okay an energy that we want yeah just like keep keep going right pleasure yeah enjoy yourself go hang out with your friends i can't say it enough go have some dinner drinks go dance or something like that just take it easy okay all right aries that's what i have for you that's it, everyone. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Bye.